Okay, so since you guys have had to see me look very like all messed up lately, I decided I was going to do a favorites video for you and um, I figured why not. Talk about some products that I've been enjoying, things that I've been working. I love watching these videos. It gives me an idea of things to try. So I figure I would do that for you guys. So we're going to start with skincare. First thing is the new Clinical Eye Lift Dual Eye System. And this is by Avon. My mother gave me this. Let's see if it'll get it to focus. There we go. Um, and this is what it is. You open it and it tells you uh, above the eye and below the eye okay and you apply the cream above and this behind what it's supposed to do is not only help improve the elasticity of your skin um, but improve any lines that you may have I have very thin eyelids I'm losing the elasticity in my eyelids and I'm only 28 years old it makes applying eyeshadow very hard sometimes um, and I do have some blue line underneath my eyes, which has gotten better. It's only a little bit in a little spot here now. It used to be all over. And I attribute that success to this new um, Avon stuff. You only use a little bit each day. This thing is pricey, but it lasts a really long time. The other thing that has changed my face is the Tilth Beauty Anti-Aging Firming Moisture Cream. This was mailed to me to review a while ago. And this is like firming moisture cream. To me, this is very, very like ultra for uh, moisture. It's a very thick consistency. As you can see, I barely used any, but <laughs> I've used it a lot. And I used to get very dry around here, which I'm going to apply some right now. You can apply it over or under things. So you just, you could see it's a very thick cream. It's a lot for me to really get in there. It leaves no you know, color or anything. I also get dryness right there. Actually, that's too big of a space, but just a little like fingertip mark. So this stuff is thick, and it really gets some moisture in that spot that you may have. Um, and I've also noticed that some people use this on their elbows. And actually, I'm going to do that right now because I noticed that my elbow is dry. And wow, I feel like it's instantly made it feel better. So I definitely recommend this Tilth Beauty Anti, it's a firming moisture cream. Hair products. First thing I got from Sally's, this is the Proclaim Organ Oil Hair Oil Treatment. It's a little bottle. I've used this like 10 times and I maybe used half, not even. Um, I used it on my hair today. I think it looks extremely shiny, um, even over a really low quality webcam. Um, so I think you can tell that my hair has a good amount of shine in it. And this stuff, um, I got it on sale for that price. It's probably a couple dollars, but I think it's worth every bit of it. Next thing I've been enjoying is the Aussie Hair Insurance Leave-In Conditioner. This stuff I put on my hair all the time, whether when I get out of the shower or even if I'm not washing my hair that day and I just want to condition it a little bit. This stuff smells amazing and I think it's pretty good. My new love is the Garnier Fruity Silk and Shine Leave-In Conditioner Cream. I have it in my hair and then I blue dry my hair today. Um, it says three days sleek argan oil from Morocco and apricot frizzy dry unmanageable hair intense smoothing for long lasting frizz control and shine look at my hair everybody should go buy this it's like three dollars you get this huge thing and all you use is the quarter size amount even in my thick long hair that's all I used three dollars guys like I literally only use this much and I swear to god I've used this like 20 times um I swear this is like the best investment for your hair and I feel like everyone, everyone should get this. Favorite candle of all time, apple crumble. Everyone needs this in their house, okay? It is baked Granny Smith and Macintosh apple topped with vanilla crumb, cinnamon, and nutmeg. And it smells banging. 
onto the makeup. I have quite a bit of makeup, so that's why I did that stuff. First, here we go. Most of the makeup I am wearing that I'm going to tell you. So let me start with, I tried the Wet n Wild Ultra Sheer Tinted and Moisturizer. I got this in natural. I have it on my face. Um, when I apply it, it feels water. It feels like water if you have dry skin this stuff would be so hydrating um and i thought <laughs> honestly you can't see my skin for what it is i wish you could see it better um my lighting is so off that i look splotchy and i'm really not um this stuff is like a couple dollars and i use my elf foundation brush to apply it amazing like you can get in the little crevices, you know what I'm talking about, and you can get right in there and really apply this, and I really love this stuff. So Wet n Wild has not disappointed me. This is, I'm going to save that for last because that's my favorite thing right now, that too. Um, I have the NYX Butter Gloss. And this is in Strawberry Parfait. I like this for the moisturizing quality. I'm not a huge fan of the pigmentation. Oh, now it's going to show up. Now it is. I'm telling you. Oh, there you go. See how sheer that gets? Um, it is a gloss, so I think I'm being a little too hard on it. But um, these are really great. and They smell exactly like candy. It's just... Ooh, they're so nice. I used this today. Um, I'm not. They're okay. It's the Idle Eyes Cream Eyeshadow Pencil. I noticed that the only way that this actually works well is if I actually have a base down before I use it. So it kind of defeats the purpose. But I think that it allowed my eyeshadow to really adhere today. And what I used was Wet n Wild Sweet Has Candy Trio. Oh, you're not going to be able to see this. That is a rose gold color, which I used wet, and oh, I wish you could see it. And it's in this area here, and I will talk about what else. And I also use the brow bone stuff up here. Um, and I, I didn't incorporate the brown because I didn't want anything too harsh because I didn't want to be crazy. Um, another thing that I really like is this e.l.f. Long Lasting Lustrous Eyeshadows. The white one that I had was not as good, so be careful on the ones you pick. This is a beautiful blue color. Oh, there you go. Oh my god, this stuff. What I like to do with this is I like to just set some sort of base down and apply it literally where you see this other color. Um, it is so nice, um, but I wouldn't... Um, I wouldn't use it alone. Hold on. <sighs> NYX Glam Shadow in Fairy. This is like the closest I've come to finding Urban Decay Sin. Um, it's not exactly a match, but um, I, I enjoy it. And once again, I like using this wet as well. Um, another thing that I've been liking is the NYC Sky Rise Lengthening Mascara. I mentioned this in my empties that I posted today. Um, what you need to do is use a brush. Let me see if I can find it. I should have left that brush out. I'm not going to go dig in there. One of those brushes to comb through your lashes before you apply a second coat. And if you don't, your lashes will clump together. It's the way this brush is. At least, if you have dense, thick lashes like me, it will. If you don't, then you're, um, then you're okay, but the brush looks like that. And um, for a cheap mascara, I'm actually pretty impressed. But like I said before in the empties video, if you are looking for volume, this is not the mascara for you. My two less favorite things are the NYX HD Concealer. I got this in beige. It's light for me, um, but I've been using it as a brightening tool under my eyes, and I think it's working. I look very awake right now. <laughs> but my favorite product of the month is the NYC um, Sparkle Eye Dust, which is what you see here in a gold color, and I wish I could see it even better. This is golden champagne, and this stuff just comes, it has a dull fit applicator, which has the stuff on it, and you can see it's just 
loose in there and it just is such a vibrant color and I know they have blues and stuff and I'm gonna I need to get more of these I mean I just love it and it's fast and it's easy so that's my favorites for October hope you guys enjoyed it check out these products and I'll talk to you soon bye